must be more than this All breath of God come breathe within
Yesionemo. Alafu sema chinekeme. Chinekeme. Yo so guntumi. Chinekeo. I bless your name. Come 
All the way from the sky to here. But I didn't fall from the sky, I landed in an airplane. Amen. Amen. Everybody do this. Let's say Asante Yesu on three. Asante Yesu. One, two, three. Asante Yesu. See, I learn quickly, don't I? Sana, sana. And yesterday it was raining, wasn't it? But you see, we serve a mighty God. And we had to preach the good news. And so we had a problem. The rain was trying to stop us from preaching to you. So what did we do? What you always do when you have a problem. We prayed to the Lord. We said, stop the rain, O God. In Jesus' name. And guess what happened? It stopped. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give a hand clap to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, this is the third night of the four-night crusade here in Oriru. And I've said this before. But you're special. Look at your neighbor and say, you are special to God. And some of you are like, yep, I know I'm special. Because of all the places in Nairobi that God could have sent us. He sent us right here. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. How many of you have never seen a Mzungu before? Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, are you guys ready for a word tonight that's going to touch your heart? You see, and I said it the other night. The Bible says this. That the kingdom of God is not just a matter of talk. But of power. Everyone say power. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so we're going to pray for miracles tonight. I said for miracles tonight. A woman who was about to commit suicide was touched by God and totally changed her mind. Amen. 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 We saw another man with a pain in the rib cage and in his back. Totally, completely healed. Everyone say yes. 
Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Do it in Ruiru, Jesus. Do it in Ruiru, Jesus. Do it in my life tonight, Jesus. Do it in my life, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oi, oi, oi. Hallelujah. Can and up to. I'm okay. Well, I'm excited to be here. And I want to preach a, an important message to you tonight. Who can read the big long word on the sign down here? What does it say? What does it say? Consumed. 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 Do you guys all know what that means? It means to be totally taken over. You see, when a fire is burning, what does it do to the wood? It consumes all the wood. Amen. Amen. And so that's what we've been preaching this crusade. The first night. What did I preach the first night? I'm going to work backwards. So last night I preached a message called Consumed by Bitterness. And then the first night I preached a message called Consumed by Purpose. And so, and so tonight I want to preach to you for a few minutes on being consumed by peace. Hallelujah. Consumed by peace. You see, I was at the Nairobi National Park uh, this week. And we saw some giraffes. We saw some rhinos. We saw some, rhino. we saw some uh, monkeys. And we saw rhinos. Simba. Wow. Yes. You see, when a lion is close to you, you have to be pretty brave to still feel at peace, right? But I have good news for you. Jesus is a good lion. And you see, he's not against you. He is on your side tonight. And he's going to fight against the enemy. And he wants you to be consumed by peace tonight. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, Baba, thank you for these people. Holy Spirit, we say have your way tonight. Heal. Restore peace. Break every chain. And we serve notice to the devil. You're defeated in the name of Jesus. Loose these people right now. And everybody said, Amen. 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 All right. Does anyone here have a Bible? If you do, I want you to go to the book of Isaiah really quickly in the, in the ninth chapter and the sixth verse. And you see, I'm a preacher, so one of our jobs is to memorize scripture. But guess what? You can do it too. Everyone point at yourself. Point at yourself. 
Say, I can do it too. Sema, ninaweza pia. Amen. Amen. So Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 says this. Isaiah tisa mustari wa sita inasema hivi. It said, this is a prophecy. Huni unabi. A hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus was even born. Miaka mia na mia mamia ya miaka kabla yesu ya jazaliwa. And it says this. Na inasema hivi. It says, unto us a child is born. Kwetu mwana amezaliwa. And unto us a son is given. Na kwetu sisi kijana mwana mume amepeanoa. And the government will be upon his shoulders. Na serikari itakuwa ju ya mabega yake. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor. Na jina lake litaitwa mshauri wa ajabu. Mighty God. Mungu mkuu. Everlasting Father. Baba asiye na mwisho. And the Prince of Peace. Na mfalme wa amani. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. I think it's one of my favorite descriptions of who Jesus Christ is. You see, because we live in a crazy world. Just driving down the road in Nairobi will tell you we live in a crazy world. I'm amazed that there aren't more accidents. Now, I've heard that it's the election season. And what's going on right now? People are so upset with the other side and the other tribes. They're warring with each other, aren't they? They're fighting for who's going to be in power. But you see what we just read. Says that the government. Upon his shoulder aren't you glad that Jesus Christ is not a corrupt politician Jesus Christ cannot be bribed Jesus Christ does not make a bunch of promises and then not fulfill them. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and clap. Amen. You see, the first point I want to make to you is about wars and rumors of wars. Ni kuhusu vita na fununu za vita. I'm going to read out of Matthew chapter 24. Tusome kitabu cha madhai wa ishirini na nne. You see, I've been fortunate enough in my life to not actually have to fight in a real war. Unajua kwa bati mzuri katika maisha yangu imebidi ni pigane vita sawa sawa. But my grandfather's generation fought in what's called the Second World War. Na babu yangu aliusika katika vita vya pili vya ulimwengu. And that's why America has become a superpower was because of that war. Nandio kwa sababu marekani ni superpower kwa sababu ya Second World War. But you see, if we would have lost that war, we would we would be nothing right now. Unajua kama sisi wa marekani tunge poteza kwa ile vita tunge kuwa chochote leo. Right now as we speak, there's war in the Middle East. Sasa hivi tunavi ongea kule kuse Middle East kuna vita kila mahali. There's war in the Sudan, right? Kuna vita hata hapa Sudan ya kusini na ile ingine. You see, and I believe that people all over the world ultimately are seeking Peace. How many of you like it when somebody just barges into your house and takes your things? Do you 
Kuna mtu anapenda kunyang'anywa? That's called stealing, isn't it? Ama mtu anapenda kuibiwa hapa? You see, because we have a desire for peace. Unaona kwa sababu tuko na shauku ya kuwa na amani. To have a place of security. Tuwe na mahali ambapo pana usalama. To have a place where we know everything will be okay. Tuwe na mahali ambapo tunajua kila kitu kwa sawa sawa. A place free from fear. Eneo ambalo halina uoga. Amen. Amen. Am I preaching to anybody tonight? Ninahubiria mtu mahali hapa jioni ya leo. Say yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Well, God has a word for you tonight. Mungu akona neno juu yako jioni ya leo. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 24. Geuka kitabu cha Mathayo 24. Mathayo 24 wale wana Biblia kama huna andika mahali unajua utaenda kusoma ukifika nyumbani. Sio vizuri kupotelewa na hiyo. Matthew 24. This is a prophecy again given by Jesus. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4 Jesus is speaking to his disciples. Because he tells them that the temple that exists in Jerusalem is going to be destroyed. And that the end of the world will come. And the disciples ask him How do we know when this will happen? Tutajuaje wakati wa siku za mwisho? And what will be the sign of your coming? Na zitakuwa ishara gani zitakazoonyesha ni mwisho wa dunia? And of the end of the age. Ama mwisho wa kizazi. So this is what he says. Hivi ndivyo Yesu alisema. Jesus answered. Yesu akawajibu. Watch out that no one deceives you. Tazameni pasionekane mtu wa kuandanganya. For many will come in my name claiming I am the Christ. Kwa sababu wengi wataingia dunia hii wakisema mimi ndiye Kristo. And will deceive many. Na watapotosha watu wengi. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Mtasikia vita na fununu za vita. But see to it that you are not alarmed. Lakini muangalie msije mkatishika. Such things must happen. But the end is still to come. Lakini mwisho bando ungali unakuja. Look at your neighbor and say such things must happen. Ligeukia njirani muambie mambo kama hayo lazima yatokee. Wengine waongee mnaangalia tu hivi. Muambie mambo kama haya lazima yatokee. Hallelujah. Nation will rise against nation. Taifa litainuka kinyume na taifa lingine. And kingdom against kingdom. Ufalme dhidi ya ufalme. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Kutakuwa na janga la njaa na na tetemeko la ardhi maeneo kadhaa. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Mambo haya yote ndio mwanzo wa uchungu wa kujifungua. Then Bandai, you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death. Mutakabidhianwa na mutadhurumiwa and you will be hated by all nations because of me. Na mutachukiwa na mataifa yote kwa sababu yangu. At that time many will turn away from the faith. Wakati huo wengi wataondokea imani and will betray and hate one another. Na wata watachukia na kuangamiza wale wengine. And many false prophets na manabii wengi wa uongo will appear and deceive many people. Watajitokeza na watapotosha watu wengi. And because of the increase of wickedness. Na kwa sababu ya ongezeko la uovu, the love of most will grow cold. Na upendo wa wengi utakuwa baridi. But he who stands firm Lakini, the end will be Saved. And 
He who stands firm to the end will be saved. Yeye atakayesimama imara hadi mwisho huyo ataokolewa. Verse 14. Stari wa 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a witness to all nations. And then the end shall come. And then the end shall come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, we are living Tunaishi in the fulfillment katika of Jesus' words right now. That's why I'm here Ndiyo maana ni apa leo. to preach to you tonight leo. about the Prince of Peace. Wa amani. You see, there are wars and rumors of wars Unaona, going on right now. Vita, right now, as we speak, Sasa hivi North Korea is trying to get nuclear missiles pointed at the United States. North Korea inajaribu kutuma makombora mazito katika inchi ya Marekani. Radical Islamic nations are trying to get weapons against the United States. Waislamu ambao wamepewa mafunzo maovu wanajipanga namna ya kupiga Marekani. What about here? Na hapa nje? I've heard that here you get radical groups coming to Mombasa and to some of these other places trying to kill people. Hapa tume you see, I want you to understand something. It's a vain imagination to think that you're ever going to live in a world with perfect peace. I cannot think of a single generation that has not dealt with wars, economic crisis, troubles, conflicts. Why am I telling you this? Because I want you to understand something. Conflict Mafarakano. cannot, it's inevitable, it cannot be avoided. I hate to break it to you. But all the commercials you see on TV. All the billboards you see when you're driving down in the middle of Nairobi. They're trying to sell you a false hope. That if you just drink this Coca-Cola right now, all your problems are going to go away. If you just buy this nice suit right now, everybody's going to love you. And you see, the bishop has a lot of nice suits. But not everybody loves the bishop. I love the bishop, though. You see, why am I telling you this? It's because Jesus promised us that before the end of all things there was going to be turbulence in the earth. There was going to be wars in the earth. There was going to be a shaking in the earth. There was going to be hard times in the earth. You see, you are not much different than the rest of the world. You may think to yourself, I just live in a, a, a bad neighborhood of Ni outside Nairobi. I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of education. But I want to tell you something. No matter where you're at, whether you're way up here or you're way down there, 
Jesus said Yesu anasema, that there will be conflict in this world. Na there will be troubles in this world. Na there will be fearful things that come upon you. But don't worry. Because it doesn't stop there. Amen. You see, Jesus tells us this Yesu anasema ibi, to prepare us. Amen. Amen. You guys still with me? Don't go anywhere. Trust me, it's it's only going to get better. I always say before you get to the good news, you have to start with the bad news. Okay? Yes. So we talk about wars and rumors of wars. The second thing I want to talk about is the spirit of fear versus the spirit of peace. I want you to close your eyes for just a minute. And I want to ask you a very deep question. What are you the most afraid of? What are you most afraid of? What is your greatest fear? For some people, maybe it's dying. You're afraid that something bad is going to happen to you. You're going to die. Some people are afraid of other people and what they're going to think of them. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid that people will not like them. They're afraid that they won't fit in. They're afraid that nobody will love them. Some people are afraid of poverty. I'm not going to have enough money to feed my family this month. I don't have enough money to get new clothes and my clothes are worn some people might be afraid of just simply wasting their lives. I talked about this in my message about purpose. That many people are just spinning their wheels in the mud. So how about you? What is that thing that keeps you up at night? What is that thing that terrifies you? You see, because there is a spirit at work in the earth. It is a spirit of fear. And that's what armies try to use to manipulate and control people. To, to uh, oppress people. I'm, I'm sure you guys all know about this, but in Uganda there was the LRA going around just raiding and killing and, and harassing and terrifying people. You see, ISIS and radical Muslims want to create fear in the hearts of people around the world too. And so they use violence and they blow things up to create fear. You see, the spirit of fear is the opposite of the spirit of peace.
You see, fear causes you to be paralyzed. It causes you to dread whatever it is that you fear. But peace is the freedom from all fear. Na uoga wote. I'm going to say that again. Peace. Oh, peace is the freedom. Is the freedom from all fear. From all fear. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's clap to that one. Hallelujah. To be yes, my coffee because I'm not here. You see, a lot of people look to the government to create peace. What when you want to tell me a serikali itengeneze amani? And that is one of the jobs of the government, by the way. But the reality is, is that an earthly government can never create perfect peace. Only Jesus can. Only Jesus can do that. He is the Prince of Peace. You see it says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 that God has not given you the spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind I said, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. I'm going to wrap up this message pretty soon, and then we're going to pray for healing and miracles. As a matter of fact, if you need a healing miracle, I'd like you to come to the front. The Lord showed me some things in prayer. Somebody has a pain specifically in the left hip. It's like the left hip socket. Jesus is healing you tonight. The Lord showed me that there's probably more than one person with problems with the eyes. Infections in the eyes. And blindness in the eyes. The Lord is healing you tonight. Come forward as soon as you can. And the Lord also showed me that there's somebody or perhaps more than one person I saw in the spirit like pain in the gums the I don't know if it's, if it's rotten teeth or an infection in the mouth and in your gums the Lord is healing you tonight. Come forward as soon as you can. Amen? Amen. Are you guys still with me? Yes. Wars and rumors of wars, the spirit of fear and the spirit of peace. You see, I want to tell you something that you don't have to be afraid anymore because the Bible says in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd I shall not be in want or in lack he leads me beside still water he makes me lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. 
And I want you guys to say this, repeat this one with me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me. I said, because you are with me. I will fear no evil. Because you are with me. See, the last point I'd like to make to you tonight is Jesus said this. He said, in me, you will have peace. In me, you will have peace. John 16, 33. John 16, 33 says, In this world you will have tribulations. But I have spoken these things to you so that in me you will have peace. Amen. Hallelujah. In the world, you will have tribulation. But in me, you will have peace. You will have peace. You will have peace. of good cheer because I have overcome oh hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus you see you don't have to live with the spirit of fear anymore Stop trying to fix the world around you. You're never going to find peace that way. The only one who has peace for you is the Prince of Peace. I said the Prince of Peace. You see, we all had a problem at one point or another. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All. You see, that includes you too. That includes me as well. All have sinned. And fallen short of the glory of God. You see, those who continue to sin, those who continue to do evil and wickedness, the Bible says that God is your enemy. That the wrath of God is against those who do wickedness. So what do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We need someone to save us. We need someone to restore peace between God and humanity once again. We need someone to rescue us from the day of judgment. 
kutoka kwa siku ya hukumu. You see it says in Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Kitabu cha Warumi 5 mstari wa kwanza. Therefore, kwa hivyo, having been justified by faith, mukiwa mumewekwa haki na imani. We have peace with God. Tuko na amani ndani ya Mungu. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Wetu Yesu Christo. We have peace with God through who? Tuko, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Tuko na amani kupitia nani? Kupitia Yesu Christo. Amen. Amen. My brother go ahead and play on the keys for me. Wale wacheza vinanda endelea kupapasa tu chini kwa chini. So if you need a miracle of healing go ahead and come forward right now. Even if I didn't say what you your disease you go ahead and come. If you're Holy Spirit is doing a number of things tonight. If you are a Christian already kama wewe tayari ni mkristo umeokoka you have already invited jesus to be your lord and your savior tayari ulishamkaribisha yesu kuwa bwana na mwokozi wako but you're still plagued by the spirit of fear lakini bado unangangana na roho ya kuogopa god is setting you free tonight mungu anakukomboa jioni ya leo amen amen and if you're not a christian na kama wewe sio mkristo bado and you're plagued by the spirit of fear. God is setting you free tonight. Amen. Amen. Everybody close your eyes. If that's you and you say yes, I I have a lot of fear in my life. But I need to experience God's peace. Just put your hand up in the air for me. If that's you, just put your hand up in the air. You don't, you don't need to be afraid to admit that you deal with fear. Come into my life right now. Cast out all fear. Cast out every fear. Fill me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I just command all fear to be gone. Loose right now. Loose right now. Loose over people at night when they sleep at night. Loose right now. Loose over the fear of death. Loose right now. Fear of rejection. Loose right now. Fear of lack and poverty. Loose right now. Loose right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if you would say to me tonight, I need peace with God tonight, Zach. I don't know if I'm really truly saved. I don't know if I'm in the faith. Jesus is not my Lord and Savior. You see, I've been doing wicked things. And I know that I'm guilty before God. But if you're telling me that I don't have to be punished for my sins now that I don't have to fear death now but I can have peace with God again if that's you I want you to come forward right now come forward right now in the name of Jesus the Prince of Peace is here tonight. He's here to save you. 
Anaenda kukuokoa. He's here to heal you. Akwapa kukuponya. He's here to love you. Akwapa kukupenda. He's here to love you tonight. Akwapa kukupenda jioni ya leo. He would not perish, but would have everlasting life. This is my last call. If that's you, I want you to come to the front right now. Come and receive Jesus right now. We just come against every hindrance in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that's working against the gospel. Then that's it, we're gonna pray. And before we do that, what's your name? I'm Mary. Mary, what is what exactly is going on? Sores. Sores in your throat? And, and is it painful when you eat? Yes. Is it painful when you swallow? Yes. Right now, are you feeling pain? Yes. And how long have you had this? Frequently. For how many years? Two years now. Do you believe Jesus Christ Jesus can heal you? Yeah. Yes, I believe. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke yes. this infection. We rebuke these sores. We command all the pain to be yes. loosed right now. Yes. All the pain, all the burning, all the, the, the sharpness and the soreness to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Right now. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody bring a glass of water. Or a bottle, a bottle of water. And, and at the end of this song, Medi is going to drink this water. The, there's still some pain or no? No, one side now. So there's there's some pain on one side only. Yes. But the rest, the pain has gone down. Yes. No pain the other side. Okay, so we're going to pray again. Eric, go ahead and put your, your hand on the right side. Yeah. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke the spirit of infirmity. We rebuke the spirit of something. In the name of Jesus. Loose in the name of Jesus. Loose in the name of Jesus. Be gone. Go. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and drink another sip of that water. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. No pain. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the 
praise the Lord. Amen. Receive your healing in Jesus. She she in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know who did this? The Prince of Peace did this time. Jesus did this tonight. Jesus did this tonight. We give him the praise. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have done a lot of things today that I, I, I didn't used to do. Amen. I have walked for a wrong reason. Amen. My legs are not paining. I can Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah.